in this video i will show you when an isolated footing foundation design becomes a shear wall in civil engineering according to en 1992 an isolated footing also known as pad footing is a type of spread footing foundation that can be used for shallow foundations to carry axial or concentrated loads from columns or pillars for transverse load this for another video some structures can have many shear walls to keep the definition simple a shear wall is a column that has exceeded the acceptable design length for a normal column to be able to withstand more loads which are usually vertical and horizontal the definition is to keep it simple not to complicate the explanation but when does a column in civil engineering becomes a shear wall always check with the design code of your country let's look at the code for the detailing of a reinforced concrete footing the longest side of the rectangular column footing should not exceed four times the shorter side that is the longest side must be less than or equal to four times the smaller side when this condition is met then you can design a column footing but in the footing dimension if the longest side is greater than 4 multiplied by the smaller side then you are designing a shear wall let's explain this further for this footing and shear wall detailing condition let's consider a reinforced concrete footing for a one square meter that is this length is one meter and this is also one meter which is same as a thousand millimeter and this is also a thousand millimeters in this condition both sides are equal that means we are free to design this as a column footing also if we have here as a thousand millimeters and this length is 3000 millimeters that is this is one meter and this is three meters the longest side is three meters and here the shorter side is one meter the longest side must be less than or equal to four multiply by the shorter side the longest side is three and the shorter side is four that means the condition is met and we are going to design this as a column footing let's consider this dimension here we have not 0.5 meters and here we have 4.5 meters this is equivalent to 500 millimeters and this length is equivalent to 4500 millimeters in the condition the longest side must be less than or equal to 4 multiplied by the smaller side the longest side is 4500 millimeters and the smaller side is 4 times 500 this is 4500 and this will give us 2000 and if we check with this condition this is not greater than this according to the code we cannot design this as a column footing this will be designed as a shear wall always check with your country's design code I believe this was helpful if you find this video helpful please click the like button subscribe 
for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one.